When Stevens Restaurant was bought by the owners that I bought it from, the area here in Hialeah was predominantly a garment industry, uh, had a large Jewish population. Uh, so when the Nadelmans, who owned it before me, uh, bought the restaurant, they came from New York. They knew the New York deli business and basically built it up uh, at that time and all the way in through the 70s. Uh, if you came lunchtime, you were going to wait. There were lines, you know, down the block waiting to get in. So it was a very, very popular restaurant. And then the population in the area changed. The garment industry moved out. Obviously, a lot of that, you know, went to China. Uh, and now it's a different business climate. There's a lot of shipping and distribution companies here because the uh, railroad tracks come right through this part of Hialeah, so there's a lot of shipping in and out cargo. So they're mostly uh, distribution companies now, and our primary clientele are, you know, the owners, the managers, the bookkeepers, and the folks like that that work in these companies. I've been here 53 years. In fact, when I first came to Miami, this is the first job I, uh, I got and I've been here ever since. I would say going back into the 60s, 70s, and 80s, I would say it was more or less Jewish. They went on operating most of these uh, factories. And like I said, since most of the older generation died out, the younger generation, and children, they probably went to college and went their own way. So which means the business went under, which means someone else took over and Halia more or less went to Spanish. And I guess a lot of the places are owned by Spanish now. The corned beef, the idea is it is to not overcook it. Just have to cook it to right. Which means you can't cook it too fast. More or less that, when you cook it, just symbols. And when you come out and just slice it thin. In fact, here we traditional, hand carved. Because most dealers now carve corned beef most of all the meats by machine, but we are still with the traditional hand cart. The early years, the people. I mean, the parking lot was full of people. And that, from about 11 o'clock to 2 o'clock, people standing in the door to get seats. That's just how busy it was. But as time changes, how they change, and we don't get that you know, type of crowd anymore. But it's pretty good, still. I'm Jack and Yo Soy Hialeah. <laughs>